Welcome to What Was He Thinking? My name is A.B. Bracewell. Today I'm going to be your personal tour guide through a man's psyche. Take this journey as we explore why a man thinks the way he thinks. Why a man acts the way he acts. And why a man feels the way he feels. No question is off limits, and no topic is too hard. By the end of the show, you'll have a better understanding and a better insight of who we are as men. So here we are again with another question. This question is pretty simple and straightforward. The young lady is asking, why is it so hard for men to express their emotions? Now with this answer, I might be a little bit more clinical than I am with most of my answers. And that's because this is a topic or a question that so many men and women struggle with in their relationships. There's, this question has been asked so many times um, when I'm in sessions or, or, for the sh or for the show or when I'm just talking to people. You see, in the psychology world, there's this thing called attachment theory. And attachment theory basically describes an individual style of attachment to another person. So it describes the way they emotionally are close. It describes their emotional vulnerability. It describes their emotional openness to another individual. See, attachment theory has four basic attachment styles. But for, for the purpose of answering this question, we're only going to focus on one. We're only going to focus on the style that really creates the question like, why doesn't he communicate his emotions? You know, questions like, why is he so withdrawn or why is he so closed off? Those questions that have a woman a woman feeling like she doesn't know exactly where she stands in a relationship with a man because he does not express his emotions. And that style is called the avoidant style or avoidant attachment. See now, avoidant attachment is not specifically for men. Um, both men and women can display an avoidant attachment type of style. But to answer this specific question, we're going to talk about how it develops in men and how it manifests itself in men. You see, avoidance style attachment or avoiding attachment, I should say, is described as being an avoidance to intimacy. And I, I mean, when I say intimacy, I don't mean sex. I just mean closeness. A person that displays that avoidant attachment style is someone that has strong boundaries around their emotions. It's someone that kind of has a disregard for the emotions of other people. Someone that displays that avoidant style of attachment, that uh, avoidant attachment style, they kind of unconsciously sabotage or damage relationships. So you can probably see how a man's inability or a man's refusal to express his emotions goes hand in hand with this avoidant attachment style. So how does this avoidant attachment style develop in people? How does it develop in men? You see, the premise of this whole avoidant style of attachment, it is based on the parent's style of attachment. So basically what it says is that the way a parent was attached to a child or the way that a parent was attached to a man or a boy or the lack thereof, it kind of dictates and it controls the way he attaches himself to others as he gets older. And that's really this emotional attachment that we're talking about. So, for instance, if he was a baby that what he needed to be fed, his parents did not feed him right away. Or when he needed to be changed, he was not changed right away. Or when he was scared, 
He was not picked up and held right away or picked up and held at all. See, this d developed a, a sense of distrust in others. And it's this distrust, the basis of this distrust was an emotional distrust. He felt like he could not turn to other people to meet his emotional needs. So as a boy grows up into a man, and if he has this type of parenting in his life where his emotional needs were not met, met he's actually developing elements or putting elements of relationships on an unstable emotional foundation. And, and what usually happens? He enters into relationships after relationships, not being able to trust people with his emotions, not able to communicate his emotions, uh, not able to be vulnerable with his emotions. So as a result, you run into a guy that just doesn't express his emotions, doesn't communicate them verbally, at least. And what happens when we go, go through our life not learning how to verbally use the words and use the language to communicate our emotions? Then we never learn how to do, do so. So you see how our issue kind of compounds and grows where it started with us not trusting people with our emotions and it moves to not knowing how to even communicate your emotions because you spent so many years not expressing them. And what does that usually lead to in a relationship for the lady? It usually leads to frustration. Another way this avoidant attachment develops in guys is from the trauma of heartbreak. The trauma of the loss of a spouse, the loss of a loved one, basically is the trauma of a man trying to open up, trying to share his emotions, trying to express his, his emotions, and then getting disappointed to the point where he goes back into his cave, he crawls back into his, his safe place, and he stops expressing those emotions. He stopped communicating in those emotions and stop feeling those emotions because he doesn't want to feel that level of hurt ever again. So you might enter into a relationship with a guy that experienced this somewhere in his life and you're wondering why can't he just tell me how he feels? And a lot of it is based on past trauma that he went through. But now a man's struggle with expressing his emotion does not always fall on heartache or past trauma. A lot of guys are socialized to believe that communicating vulnerable emotions is a sign of weakness. You know, we grow up with this um, belief or this teaching or this conditioning that we have to be super strong. We have to be macho, that we can't really cry when we're hurt. Um, we don't really express our love. We don't express sadness. We don't express fear. And that may work well when it comes to facing your fears and, and being a man and um, dealing with pressures of life. But it does not work well when it comes to relationships. Not being able to express your emotions to your lady actually works against the relationship because she's left lost. She feels insecure. She doesn't know where she really stands with you. Another thing that guys are taught or a way we are conditioned when it comes to expressing our emotions um, really has to do with the way we sexualize relationships, I should say. The way we try to keep relationships on a surface level. So if a man is only trying to keep a relationship strictly to sex or strictly on a basic surface level, then he's not going to express his emotions to you. So it's not so much that he doesn't know how to express his, emotion, his, his emotions, it's the fact that he's choosing not to express his emotion. Because a lot of men know if 
he starts to communicate those emotions, if he starts to express those emotions, that that's going to develop into something deeper, something, something stronger, something more intimate. And that's exactly what he's trying to avoid. If he's trying to keep the relationship on a basic surface or strictly sexual level. Another thing that stops men from learning or knowing how to express their emotions is their family origin. And I can speak from personal experience and I can admit that I have not always been the best at expressing those vulnerable emotions, those vulnerable feelings. And the main reason, a big reason is because I did not come from a family that did that. Growing up, we didn't have too many I love I love yous when we walked in the door. There weren't many big hugs. We knew that we were loved as kids because we had a place to lay our heads. We had dinner to eat every night. We had clothes on our back and our parents got us a quality education. And that was the proof that you were loved. So as I grew up into being a man, it was a lot harder, it was a lot more difficult to express those emotions of vulnerability or even give compliments or even receive compliments for that matter. Because I did not grow up in a family that, that did that. I didn't grow up in a family that cultivated that type of emotional expression. So, you know, there's times when it can work in your favor. It's, it's times when it worked in my favor where a woman could, could see me as being mysterious or being a challenge. But when you're in a relationship and she wants to get deeper, she wants to get more serious, that mysterious, that mystery and that um, inability to express your emotion works against you. It works against us. So my last and final reason for why it's so hard or why men don't always express their emotions in a way that a woman would want him to it has to do with the way that we are, are raised from boys to men. See, if you go to any peewee baseball game, any football game, or any little, little league basketball game, you'll see the benches filled with coaches and fathers, and we're cheering our, our sons on, we're telling them to hit harder, we're telling them to run faster, we're telling them to jump higher. We, we're really pushing them to only express a certain level or a certain type of emotion. That's that aggressive, strong, forceful, angry emotion. It's very rare that you will see a dad pushing his son to express his pain through crying. He'll tell his son to say, suck it up, don't cry. It's, it's, it's rare that you see dads giving strong hugs. It happens. But not for everyone. You'll see him giving a, giving a pound. See, so as boys, men, as boys growing into men, we are conditioned to only express a certain level of feelings. You know, it's not that our dads sit us down and give us a handbook or sit us in a class and say, listen, you can only be angry, you can only be strong, you can only be tough. But we learn by sitting and watching them. And, and, and that type of behavior is modeled for us. So and, and being that they're our fathers or they're our coaches, that's the behavior that we follow. We won't follow our mom that we see, see crying. We won't follow our sisters that we see giving out hugs and saying, I'm, I love you. We'll I follow the person that we identify with the most. So this was a tough, very tough question. Because there's so many reasons why men don't express their feelings in relationships the way that will satisfy their lady. And the best thing that I can probably tell you to the lady that asked this question is that focus not on why men don't express their emotions. Focus on your man's love language. Learn, focus on how he expresses his specific emotions, how he expresses his love, how he expresses his concern. Because trying to figure out why all men can't express their emotions or 
don't express their emotions will only leave you crazy and even more confused. So I hope that answer served you. I hope that answered your question in, in some way. If you have any comments, if you have any um, things that you want to add to that answer, you can always find me on my social media. Um, what was he thinking? And that's on all social media platforms. I thank you for tuning in. This is A.B. Bracewell. God bless.